Hello friends, welcome to online study for you. This is Pratik Sirvastwa, your placement trainer. Today I am going to discuss syllogism which has been asked in AMCAT and E-Litmus exams and I will be using Venn diagram to solve the syllogism question. In the previous video, I had used the tricks to solve the syllogism questions. So today let us understand the Venn diagram. How do we solve the questions of syllogism? So first understand the basics before solving the questions. Okay, so I am going to draw one diagram. This is A and this is B. Two circles I have drawn. This is A and this is B. Now you can see here some part of A. See some part of A is in B and some part of B is in A. Or basically you can say this both A and B are intersecting here. So from here we can say some part of A. See some part of A is in B and some part of B is in A. So from here we can say some A are B and we can also say some B are A. Both are true both are true if some a or b then we can also say some b or a in this diagram because you can see very well from here some a some part of a is in b and some part of b is in a now let's understand the second one suppose this is a and this is b now from here what you can say see from here you can say all a or b now you see all a all a are inside b right all a are inside b so you can say all a are b right okay now what about b see b you can say some part of only b is touching a the other part of b is outside so we can only say some b are a right okay now you know if some b are a then you can also say some a are b because from this diagram we know already if some a are b then some b are a and if some b are a then some a are b both are true right okay so from this diagram we saw all part of a is inside b then we are we can very well say from here all a are b and if you are saying all a are b then some part of b will be touching a then you can also say some b are a and if you are saying some b are a then you can also say some a are b so from here we can tell one conclusion if all a are b then you can say some a are b and some b are a so from this diagram we can conclude this and from the diagram one we have concluded this now let's see the third diagram suppose this is a and this is b now a and b there is no relation so you can say no a are b and you can also say no b are a how you can say see there is no relation between a to b in the same way there is no relation between b to a so these are the three thumb rule for syllogism to solve the questions using Venn diagram. Now let's see how do we solve the questions here. A statement, there are two statements given and then followed by that two conclusion is given. You have to tell which conclusion is true and which conclusion is false. Now the first statement is some bags are hot. Now if some A or B, how we draw the diagram? Like this, right? So in the same way some bags are hot. So see this is my bag and this is my hot right because some a or b we can draw the diagram like this some bags are hot means some hot will be also back right okay now the second statement is all hots are cake all hots are cake now see if somebody is asking to draw a diagram all a or b then all a you will place inside b all a you will place inside b see the same diagram we have made it here now here all hots are cake so all hots will be inside cakes so like this we draw the Venn diagram and after that we conclude which conclusion will be true and which conclusion will be false right okay so I hope you would have understood how we have drawn the diagram for the statement here right okay now let's see which conclusion is true all cakes are bags so now you see all cakes are inside the bags no all cakes are not inside the bag see all cakes are inside the bags means like this diagram should be there but here you see all cakes are not inside the bags only some part of cake is inside the bag so my first conclusion will become false now let's see the second conclusion some bags are cakes so yeah see some bags are cake some part of bag is in cake and some part of cake is in bag so second conclusion will be true so you can say from here conclusion 2 is correct right okay now let's move to the question number two question number two is 
we have two statements and then we have three conclusion so let's draw the venn diagram for the statement all shares are debentures now see all share is inside the debenture they are only telling in the statement all shares are debentures so all shares will be inside debentures right okay now no debenture is equity so there is no relation between debenture and equity there is no relation between debenture and equity see when the debenture does not have any relation when the debenture does not have any relation with equity then share will also not have any relation with equity this is very easy to understand see in the statement they are telling no debenture is equity means there is no relation between the debenture and equity see when the outside only does not have any relation with equity then definitely the share will not have any relation with equity right okay so we have already successfully drawn the diagram venn diagram for the statement now let's conclude it from here so the conclusion is no share is a equity no share is a equity yes we can see from here there is no relation between share and equity so my conclusion one will become true right okay now no equity is share so you can say there is no relation between the equity and share so the conclusion two will also become true now if you'll see some debenture is share some debenture is share see you can see from here all part of share is inside the debenture so we are saying from here is all shares are debentures all shares are debentures but if we we'll talk about the debentures then only some part of the debenture is touching shares not all the parts means we can also say some debenture is some debenture is share so some debenture is share will be the correct conclusion from here and that's what we have seen in the question number 1 if all a r b if all a r b then we can say some a r b or we can say some b r a so from here all shares are debentures means we can say some shares are debentures and some debentures are share all will be true so here all conclusions are true all conclusions are true let's move to the question number 3 question number 3 question number 3 let's draw the diagram for the statements all doctors are surgeon so all doctors is what surgeon and then you see some chemist are doctor so some chemist will be doctor some chemists are doctor so the some part of chemist will be doctor and some part of doctor will be chemist so this is what has been told in the statement now let's read the conclusion some chemist are surgeon so you see when some chemist are doctor then automatically some part of chemist will be surgeon so the first conclusion will be true now all surgeons are chemist so we can see all surgeons are not inside the chemist see if the surgeon will be inside the chemist then this conclusion will be true but all surgeons are not inside the chemist only some part of surgeon is chemist so second conclusion will automatically become false so i hope you understood the syllogism part using venn diagram if you like the video then please comment so that i will be making more videos on सिलोलिज्म यूजिंग वेन डायग्राम थैंक्स फॉर आट फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो वीडियो अच्छा लगा हो तो इसे लाइक करें और अभी तक अगर आपने हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो प्लीज इसे सब्सक्राइब करें और नई वीडियो के नोटिफिकेशन के लिए बेल आइकन को दबाएं।